Hello everybody! How are we all doing today? Hope you have had a nice time. Oh boy, it's been busy for me, but we are back. And uh, we are... <laughs> I fixed this! I fixed this! Uh, this will not be going up on the VOD, but um, I figured out the problem. Turns out, this game has like weird copy protection or something? I don't get it. But um, yeah, so I had to like go back into all my like emulation settings and download a whole bunch of other stuff and like uh, anti-copy protection files and stuff like that. Because... Uh, but yeah, it's fixed now and let's begin. This is Spyro 3, this is the best one. I apologise in advance if there's any um, audio issues. I am on a slightly different setup. So acoustics are going to be a little bit different. So we've mentioned previously that uh, Spyro had very kind of Saturday morning cartoon energy. The third game most assuredly has the most of that energy. Also, why are all the dragons sleeping rough on the ground when they have castles? A powerful villain emerges. We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now, go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. So this game actually has, like, a villain with a motive, rather than just, he's bad and, and mean, and he keeps knocking everything over, kind of. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the dragon world. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The forgotten worlds. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! Nailed it. <laughs> Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. So there's all the setup you're getting. It's pretty simple, but it's all you really need. Like I say, it's very sort of... Um, this has the most Saturday morning cartoon energy out of any of the games. Ah... This is the one that I've played the most of uh, over the years. It's the one that I uh, remember the most. So all of the zones now have... Um, well, all of the hub worlds, rather, have actual themes. As nice as the uh, synth soundscape was in Spyro 2. They actually have unique music now. And here's our main collectible for the game. Eggs. Because you can't have a collectathon platformer without them. Hey Zoe. Hi Spyro. To look left or right? Press the L2. Okay, we already know how to do that. Whoop. And every villain needs a good hench person. So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> how sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. 
Besides, even if you could never find in a thousand years, she said, there's one just left on the side. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry, and you won't like me when I'm angry. Clear as mud. Camera, camera, do you behave. All right, we're not going to do any of the um. We're not going to do the actual worlds proper just yet, because there's plenty of exploring to do around here. Such as this big fat git. Spyro! My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> we, well, he says. Well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorcerers. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very mm. fond of dragons, too. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely woman, so long as she pays me. The sorceress has asked me to guard Sheila the kangaroo. I suppose if you had a bit more money, I'd be willing to let her escape. Then you could keep her for a pet or something. Alright, so we're going to need 300 to get her out. Can we talk to her at all? No. Alright, so we've got some exploring to do then. Hunter is immediately busying himself. Yo, Spyro, tutorials. I just found one of those portal thingamajigs that leads to a different world, but you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the X button to jump, then press the X button again while you're in the air to glide. Just... Yeah, this is exactly as it was. Whoop. I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the triangle button at the end of your glide. And whoop. Why can't you just teach me how to do those super jumps, oh, man? I almost forgot. I found this egg. Almost forgot. You know, these are... Oh, whatever. I, I, I don't have the, the energy to question him anymore. Drop down here. This is a super fly power up, Spyro. Whenever you walk through any power up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. Alright, we'll use that in a sec. Let's go through here first and grab all the shiny things. Because we kind of spent all of our hoard on money bags last game. Go. Okay, now we can go back. And... Whoop. Slam. You do get to keep all of your abilities from the second game, thankfully, so I can still do the headbutt, I can still, um... Still, uh, brain swim. Get all that. I wonder how do I actually. Really sharp left. There we go. Spling. Give me all of them shinies because we're going to need them. Ah, uh, this. This little ridge has a weird amount of nostalgia. Alright. Your game camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to control the camera yourself and moves more slowly. 
Uh, yes, put it in active mode. It saves me having to constantly fiddle with it. Alright, so now I'm going to head back and uh, I'm going to head to Sunny Villa. So we can properly begin the game. Zoom. Ah. Welcome to definitely not ancient Rome. Oh my, oh my, uh, can you help us? Hordes of ferocious Rhinox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor. And some, some good soft roll R's there. Quite thrilling. Ah, okay, I forgot about that. You do have to take down all the enemies again. Let me catch my breath and I'll kick that other guy's butt. Allow me to save you the effort. You're too busy cowering. We show those two bullies. If they hadn't outnumbered me two to one, I'd have finished them off ages ago. I'll take your word for that, but you continue preening your tail. Hey, get back here, you. Frog. So I mentioned this before. This is another good uh, little example of the enemies in the first area of the game don't actually bother attacking you as well. The little ones at the very least don't actually make any effort to attack. So he just immediately spins on his heel and goes to get his bigger mate. As is tradition, Big guys, you have to flame. It's your friends. Whack. Oh. Dang it. I love that fucking expression they pull. Frogs go bog like that. I don't know why, but it just tickles me. Alright. Give me all your shinies. Egg, there we go. Vanessa. Get in here, is this what I think it is? No, it's not. Or is it? Ah, yes it is. So if we go down here, you can see there is a blocked off door. To whom it may concern, Sheila the Kangaroo is currently otherwise detained by me. Please return in a few years. So before we can get in there, we need to rescue Sheila, which we can now do because we have enough cash. Pertinently, get all the way down here. Okay, and then we whoop. There we go. Follow all the way up to the source of the river and miles. I can only imagine just the uh, the very heavily weathered book, big book of baby names that must go must have gone into deciding the name for every single dragon egg. This Rhinoc is too. Yeah. I'd... Keep up, woman. I've already done that. Have I got? No, I haven't. Oh. Tree, perish. 
There's no reason to do that, but. Hi, Spyro. Hello, Each Zoe. Time a fairy zaps you like this. That means your progress is saved. If you get into trouble, you'll return to the last place you got zapped. Weirdly enough, though, that's not an autosave. It's just a checkpoint. I wasn't sure that was going to work for a second there. Big chicken. And you wonder where those guys get their uh, giant chicken leg clubs. Hey. Ooh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> well, you're all right now. Thanks for the help, but I think I would have worn him down in a minute. I mean, you weren't looking so hot yourself. I like the, uh, I do like the touch though that all of the citizens around here are all cowardly lions. Thank you for rescuing my town. As mayor, I award you with one of our famous giant chicken eggs. Thank you. Unfortunately, it is not. It's Sanders. He does the chicken dance. I'm sorry. That was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen. Rude. All right, and then he, whoop, he dips. This will be important later, but for now, if we go up here, we can find a thing. So whenever you see a spangly door like this, these are now where the uh, where the mini games are. Hi, Spyro. I found this gladiator training arena, and it makes a pretty cool skate park. Care for a test of your boarding skills? Sure. I bet you can't catch all 15 of the lizards running around here. Just come back if you want some boarding tips from the master. No need, I'm an old hand. So, jump on one of them pads and you instantly get on a skateboard. Because this game came out in 2000. So we've got to be cool. We've got to be hip and with it. And if you press triangle, hang on, you've got to get a decent run up first. If you hit triangle and any of the shoulder buttons, you can do tricks. But you've got to land flat. You've got to land flat and straight. If you land sideways at all, you will instantly crash. not to play this like I'm playing a latter Tony Hawk game where you can spine transfer. You can't do that in this game. Hook. I need to 
get a run up at the correct direction first. Oh, that was even wronger. There we go. I managed to make that work somehow. Oh, and I missed him. So what you're meant to do, you're meant to come into this bowl area, and then hard right. There you go. Where do you go? Dang it. There we go. Hey, All right. that was great. And while you were boarding, I oh. found this ah. in a lizard burrow. There we go. Set up straight because now we've got to do the hard mode, which is actually kind of tricky. All right, if you can catch all the lizards without wiping out and before time runs out, I yeah, might it's... be able to scrounge up another egg. It's, it's not two easy, stipulations, though. which is pretty tricky. I believe you have four minutes. Three. So I'm going to have to... I'm gonna try and keep talking, but I might end up just going into full focus mode. upper section and then the guy that's at the end of the round. Okay, let's try that again. Not miss. Oh, devious bugger. Okay, I can't be stuck all week trying this guy over and over again. There we go. And... Yeet! There we go. Whoa, that was sweet! And look, there was another egg in the lizard burrow. Slam and dunk. Should be uh, all the cash that's in here. But we can talk to Hunter again. You can go for the course record now if you want. Whenever you hop on a skateboard, a timer will start. Score as many points as you can until the timer expires or you wipe out. Good luck. There's no real reason to. You can do it, but there's no real reason to. It doesn't really. Uh, it doesn't really give you anything. You just get a, uh, a skill point, which in this game equates to an extra life. And in the PS4 version, I think there's a trophy. So playing this game. Uh, welcome to Father Demon. We have just started with game three. So uh, this, is, this is the final one. How are you doing? How was your weekend? Right. 
Here you go, you rotten capitalist. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> the pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. But which would you prefer? Maybe money then, or guaranteed money now? Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. Spoilers, it will not be his downfall. Unless it is in the Legends game, because I never played those. I understand they're not very good. Uh, <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor. I hope I can shoot blue. Oh, go. hell. As good of you, mate. I've there had that feelings, happen. Eh? It sucks. After all, I'm just doing my job. That's what you get for just doing your job. Quickly, loot him while he's out cold. I reckon you'd be one of them dragons, then. Yeah, name's Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden, you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They don't sound like disbelieving. It doesn't them. look that much different from where you come from. Left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. So, with uh, Sheila rescued, that unlocks a whole heap of new stuff. Because, here we go, Sheila's out. If we go in here, and fingers crossed that the game doesn't lock up again, otherwise we're going to have some problems. It didn't when I was doing the test, so we should be okay. Hey, there Thanks we go. Again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. And now, we get to play Sheila. Hiya, Sheila. While you are gone, a bunch of Rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. All right. Fuck around and find out. Oh, yeah. So, Sheila works a little differently to Spyro. She can't glide, for one, and she can't breathe fire. She just has a kick. But what she can do is she can jump real high. And she can do this. Boing! So... Sheila's gameplay sections are more about going up than uh, forwards. You can get up really steep cliffs like this one with your double jump. Press the X button to jump and press it again exactly when you hit the ground to do the double jump. Once you've mastered it, you can go anywhere you want. Dankeschön. Hup. Hup! Seems fairly loose with his allegiance. He's, he's helping anyone who's helping Spyro, honestly. It all comes down, down to Spyro in the end. Oh, look at that big dopey smile. Boing. And Sheila also has a slam down of her own. Yeah, it makes me grab all of that, because I've got to make my money back after uh, dealing with money bags. Yeah. 
I've said before though, we will we'll get back at Moneybags in due course. We will get back every penny that he's taken us from and every penny he's taken from us from both games. And it will be very cathartic, believe you me. He's going to try and Minecraft his way through there. I've got much better gams than you do, boy. Let's play a joke. Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. Well, that's not very nice. Wait. Jenny, how do you have glasses? Don't question it. Don't question it. Oh. Some shinies up there. Magic. That's the. That's what we're just gonna stick with. It's magic. I don't gotta explain shit. are too big to smash for your kick attack, so try using your stomp attack to smash them instead. I'll confuse them with taunting while you stomp the huts, okay? You remember how? Yeah, 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 I remember how to stomp. Alright. Don't smash this one just yet, though, because... Whoop! Come on. Oh! Don't even, don't even need it to get up there. Well, whatever. Oh, dang it. Need all of it. There we go. There's no need to fight any of these guys until you can uh, smash all the mushrooms. Because otherwise they will just keep coming. Now we can get to schmackin'. That means we've got them all. Give me all of that money. And it's, it sure is nice that all of this cash is just, like, laid around on the floor. Who needs an economy when you can just go out hiking? <laughs> yeah, me, me too, buddy. Me too. forget how to control a character or vehicle, just go to the pause menu and select help. Remember that she said all vehicles, that will be help, important. Sheila. You can have this egg I found in my house. Also, remember that um, Bianca said I've hidden I've hidden the eggs in places you won't you won't find in a thousand years. Meanwhile, it was just like in a dude's house mixed in with the giant chicken eggs in the villa, like Bianca's not very good at hide and seek, methinks. Oopa. Oh no. That's not all of the money. And 
much have we missed? Five. Alright, better go find it. This is gonna bother me. We will get an ability, uh, we can't do it now, but we will get an ability later uh, for Sparks to point out to us where the nearest ungathered money is. So I'm not going to worry too hard about 100%ing everything on my first run through. sign of it anywhere easily accessible so I'm not gonna worry about it we'll just politely peace out fun. I tell you Spyro kicking Rhinoc butt just never gets old smashing goodbye Spyro I'm sure I'll see you around but yeah we'll come back when um, when I've got the uh, abilities to find every every penny because while I did forget that uh, Spyro 2 doesn't have a secret ending, this one does. There is a secret ending if you... Uh... Ooh, look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussycats. Thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this! Back, yeah. Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Come so, back when you can cast something more interesting, interesting than Flair. Is she kind of cute when she's angry? Damn it, Hunter. Don't be getting thirsty for the lady who's trying to kill us. But then again, some people are into that, I guess. Alright, so now... If we head back to the sunny villa again, we can get through that door that was locked. That uh, was locked. I love a woman who could just fucking kill me. Though to be fair, in in that department, uh, Colonel, you're more of a I love a lady who can match me in battle. You want a lady who can kick your ass because your your battle will be legendary. And zoop. Hey Spyro, there are rhinox everywhere. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of the tower. I mean, good luck. You can but try. Alas, I have lost my love, guarded by evil Rhinox at the top of yonder tower. Can you rescue her for me? <sighs> Where's your romance man? Put in an effort for your girl. No rest for the Aussies. Got spring. Oh, also, that reminds me, um, you may notice, like, Sheila's design in this game is pretty simple. She's, she's just a kangaroo, but, uh, in the Reignited Trilogy, for some reason, they gave her, like, a hairdo? Not, not just hair, but, like, a, a hairdo. 
and a weird sort of Lara Croft cut. Stop shoving me. Male fancy one of ones dashing and save the partner from peril. Exactly! And you swing off the you swing off the chandelier and you go, ha ha! Knife between your teeth. The whole bit. Who would win? Man with spear or one kicky lady? Oh, double knockout. Kicking the door, taking out the guards either side of it with the set, <laughs> with the motion and grasping foul villain by the throat. Oh! Completely bloody whiffed that. Oh god damn it, it's probably way back at the start. Ramble gramble. But I've still got all of the gems, so I don't need to worry about grabbing them again. But yeah, that's that's some good uh Conservation of momentum if you can knock a guy out with the uh, with the door that you have just kicked from its hinges. That's that's efficient. Oh no Ooh, recovery. Oh, very nearly went right off the edge there. Okay. Making much of an attempt to uh, help their mates out. Hello there. What? Marco sent you here. I've got a restraining order against him. <laughs> oh, okay. So I think what we've just been doing is kicking the crap out of all of our bodyguards. Is, is that it? Nothing else? If you see Marco, please tell him I've moved out. Yes, ma'am. Which way is... Ah, oh, there we go. So if I go this way... No. Who are trying to make sure his stalker ass doesn't get near. I mean, I'm more worried about him getting his stalker ass in gear. The guy is not very good at this. Give me all that cash. Come on. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so am I missing another, like, five? That's why I... Twing Twang hypercomputer to death. Ah. Oh. Alright. Oh, I'm missing literally one. Okay. Where the hell could that be? There must be just be a random guy around here somewhere that I can take down. A 
head slow. Go back up to the top. Just make sure to look around. I have a loss to my love, guarded by evil. Is that all? Hang on. Am I talking to him again? Okay, he's got nothing to say. Alright. There's just like one of these Rhinox that I didn't take down. Hey, Maxo! Okay, well, I'm not going to worry too much about um, scouring every last inch, like I said, because uh, I know. Let me catch. Yeah, 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 shush. Because I know that I'm going to get the. Uh, the pointer ability, and I can go back through everything then, when I get it. I think they uh, made some of these hiding spots a lot more uh, devious now that you have that power. And plus, if I do it this way, keeps everything moving at a decent clip. I'm gonna have another gummy. Um. Got some gummy strawberries. Get back here, you coward. Have shut down our cloud generator, and I'll never see a rainbow again. I'm sure we can fix that. Yeah. You can't fool me by dressing up by it as an operatic Valkyrie. Billows back on. If my wings were big and strong like yours, I could easily glide across here. It's dead easy, you just hold them out straight. And jump scare! Now, if I remember right, this mission is one that has uh, both one of my favorite and one of the weirdest. Them from your dragon flame. If you hold down the square button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. I know I've had to take out like ten of them just to get here. Again, these tutorials, I mean, same as the first game. These tutorials are very weirdly uh, placed sometimes. But anyway, what I was, what I was saying is that uh, this mission has probably one of my favourite, but also one of the absolute weirdest of uh, the minigames in the whole, in the entire game. How the hell did that miss? There you go. 
Oh, Jesus. I'm going to cast myself into the abyss. Get the hidden ones. That's what I mean, is I feel like some of the uh, hiding spots for the gems are a bit more clever now that you're going to have the ability to come back and uh, search for them. Timing. Money bags. Well, well, if it isn't my favorite dragon. The sorceress has put me in charge of guarding the Favorite the dragon. I'm the only one you know. However, I suppose I might look the other way if I was distracted by counting gems. <laughs> no way, you doofus. Ooh, yes. Precious, precious gems. Well then, Spyro, you may now use the bellows any time you wish. Best of luck on your little egg hunt. I wonder, like, his his prices are not that high for a lot of stuff. I wonder just how low he's willing to go on some things. Remember, to get your longest glide, press the X button at the very top of your jump and use the triangle button to hover at the end of your jump. We will need to use both of those for some of these. Hey! No sorting leisurely out of the way. the bellows? Maybe I can get the cloud generator working again. And... Oh. How that egg was just obliterated is beyond me. The Rhinox must have been using this thing to clog up the cloud generator. How it hasn't just been completely reduced to dust, I will not know. Alright. He zoops on by. Now, uh, I think I want to go this way first. Yeah, this is the one that's really strange. We usually wake up our rain cloud at the crack of dawn. But these mischievous spirits are stopping our bells from ringing. Don't worry, I know all about dealing with bell spirits. The only noise they make is really freaky. And look at the absolutely terrifying face this thing is going to make. Uh, <laughs> sort of boggle-eyed expression. It fell out of the belfry. Man, it's awfully convenient that I'm just oopsing into all of these. Hi. <laughs> Alright. Now get ready for these buggers. They're back from the first game. Oh, I nearly cut him off. Hey! There you are. <laughs> that was entirely luck, I won't lie. I'm not going to take any credit for that. Oh, yeah! Cool in the 90s wraparound shades. You love to see it. Get 
all of this. There we go. So yeah, that, that's the really weird mini game, if only because of that just absolutely terrifying uh, expression that the rain cloud makes. And this one is the really fun one. Our sun has gone out. We can make a new one with our lava fusion cauldron and three sun seeds, but they keep burning up before we can get them in the pot. Step on the switch to get a fresh sun seed and keep flaming it until you get it into the pot. I love how these guys wear super cool shades. So what we need to do is chase this guy and every time he stops, give him a blast. Dead easy. It's dead easy for now, but it is only going to get trickier. Birthday 19 days. Ah! Have you got any plans? Are you going to go anywhere? Uh, don't worry if you don't feel like asking or. Sorry, the, the asking. If you don't feel like answering or sharing any particulars. Alright. Phase 2. Let's go. Those little flame uh, spouts do count. Right. Keep moving, buddy. No, don't ram him, that doesn't help. Ooh, nearly. There we go. But yeah, I really like that one because it's actually like skillful platforming under pressure. Yeah. Now Get a tattoo that me and the husband go out for dinner somewhere. Here, nice. You can have this last sun seed as a souvenir. I think it might be a dud though. I've been umming and ohhing over the idea of getting a tattoo for a long time, because on the one hand, I think it would be really good. Like, I'd, um, get something fun and meaningful, more importantly. But, um, I'm also just a, a massive coward, you know. Struggle to... I struggle to get vaccines done, so I'd never manage... Uh, I would never be able to manage a, a tattoo where you've got to sit there for hours. Right, how do I get up to the upper segments here? I don't remember. Is that just... Hmm. Ah, here we go. I know it's one of these whirlwinds, but I don't remember which. Ah, it's you. Incoming! Ok, 
careful, as always, you will get thrown off. Yay, rainbow. And... Is that everything? Or is this going to be another one where I'm missing, like, two? Absolutely bare. Okay, I'm missing 12. So there is a not insignificant. Alright, let's take another poke around here. Get my husband to get tattooed for you, still says no. I mean, sometimes, like I say, um, I have a major phobia when it just comes to you know, going to the doctors to get a, a vaccine jab done. So if your husband is in the same, you know, situation as me, where his brain is just like, no, then... I hate to say it, but there's probably not much either of you can do. Okay, so it's not around here. Is it in the fusion cauldron? If I can't find it... Imminently, like I say, I'll just come back another time when I've found uh, when I've got the scan ability. find it so it must be in an area that I've glossed over but like I say we'll come back and uh, do all the hunting another time for now let's keep on moving holding down if I need to Jesus <laughs> Uh, that way. Hey, buddy. At last, my portal is working again. Come visit me at the Tiki Lodge. There we go. So now some of these uh, portals are actually locked until you got a certain amount of eggs. Case in point. I'm sorry I had to smash that giant rock open to hit to save you. I'll just leave you there next time. Alright, Molten Crater. Now is this one where I need to come back even later? I have to unlock something else first. I think I do. Rhinox are running rampant around here, but I can't get anyone out of the Tiki Lodge long enough to do anything about it. How could you? Drinks are free at the Tiki Lodge. A threat to tight lines down. I mean, that's that's different if it's a a client that's misbehaving. I imagine you probably. Um, For lack of a uh, better phrase, probably get a lot of uh, sourced up white girls who are just like, oh my god, let's go get a tattoo together, it'd be the best. And then won't sit, you know, as you say, just keep fidgeting. Ah! I can see you coming. Oh boy. Don't flex at me, you fucker. 
Ricky. Snug. Give me your butterflies. Be sure to keep hey. your friend Sparks the Dragonfly healthy. Yeah, 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 I did that and you interrupted me. Climb who stopped every five minutes to check it in the mirror. Oh my god. You're the professional, it should just be trusting you. Aha! I forgot the treasure keys came back in this. Uh, actually, if I just keep going, I will eventually loop around. Actually, maybe not to be like too cynical, but I wonder if maybe the guy was uh, trying to find any line out of place to, uh, you know, have a have an excuse to get up, uh, get up your business about it. Just like, oh no, this this line is like slightly askew. I'm not paying you. They were giving them away at the Tiki Lodge last night. I mean, that's kind of messed up, but you know, I'm not going to question it. Ah, yes. We will have to come back later. Sergeant Bird is currently on an important mission to the inside of a cage. Tough luck. So yeah, we can't get through there until we have uh, met and rescued Sergeant Bird. Pyro, you're just in time. I saw two egg thieves run through this door. Well, actually, they paid me to guard their hideout, but uh, that's irrelevant. I'll happily let you through the gate to chase them down for <clears throat> a small finder's fee. I like how even the uh, the dialogue options where you can choose whether or not to, to pay him are getting uh, despairing over it. Thank you, Spyro, and best of luck catching those dastardly egg thieves. Sit down and not moving until you're finished. Yeah, rightly so. That, like, that must be infuriating. Go back and get the money. Hello, Adrian. How you doing today? You having a nice weekend? <laughs> Damn, got him. Now nah, we're we're biding our time. We'll oh, we will get our own back against uh, against money bags in due course. But first, we need to lull him into a false sense of security. AVG <laughs> and Symphony of the Night reviews. Let's just say anal. <laughs> Are you the dragon looking for all those eggs? Because They're I very saw sad. a shifty looking character with one over there. Well, let's get after him. Alright. So, round one. We've just got to chase him.
There's um there's another reviewer on YouTube called Cadicorous. Hey, there's uh, another one. He was hey, really fast. I'm talking here. Maybe if I activate the supercharge, you'll be able to catch him. All right, now we get the tricky one. But yeah, there's a there's another reviewer on YouTube called Cadicorous, and then anytime he's showing off a game that uh, lets you name your save file, he always names names it something stupid. My favourite one was when he was playing the uh, Punisher PS2 game. He named his save Steve. I can't remember what the what the game was, but there was another one where he uh, named his his save Sloppy. All this good stuff. Alright. Let's go! Hey, this guy's kicking up smoke trails. Is you've just got to take the corners sharper than he does. Ah, oh, damn it. Minor character three spar games sounded better than in the originals and the remakes. Yeah, there, there are certain characters that um, that do sound better. Like, there was the robot guys in Metropolis in the second game that sounded way better in the originals than in the uh, Reignited Trilogy. Damn it, it's that last corner keeps getting me. How the hell is Sparks keeping up? Oh, come on. There we go. Kermit. There's one more secret. PlayStation will not get any crashed Spyro games ever. Oh, I did not think of that. That's a problem. Hmm. Can I just... yeah. I don't need to run up, I can just go directly. Yeah, that'd be a, a real shame if that was the case. Chance the remix getting 50 FPS patches now. Oh, uh, gotta love artificial exclusivity. Real pro consumer activity there. Well, such is life, and we gotta deal with it. I've still got the reignited trilogy, and. I don't know. I. I'm still not super confident that we're going to get another Spyro game, period. Like, even if it wouldn't be on, um... Even if it wouldn't be on PlayStation if it did happen, I don't think it's going to happen just flat out. Because Activision the took the studio lake. that made, um... Get it, but I don't Crash get 4 my fur and wet. the... Maybe you could get it. You can dive underwater by... Yeah, I can't listen to him and think at the same time. My brain just misfires. But, um... Yeah, uh, Activision took the team that did the, the Reignited Trilogy and Crash 4 and were just like, okay, you're doing Warzone forever now. One grab. There we go. You've got to approach from the correct side. 
I wouldn't mind a, uh, a Spyro 4 one of these days. I wouldn't even be... Like, I I don't have much of my personality tied to PlayStation like some people would. But, uh, you know, I'm happy to get it by other means if needs must. But I wouldn't be against a Crash 4 just in general, because, so, I wouldn't be against a Spyro 4 because Crash 4 turned out so well, and uh, Crash is very much in the same kind of area that, um, that Spyro was, where they had a PS2 game, like they had the original trilogy and then they had a PS2 game that was not very good. Wrath of Cortex for uh, Crash and Enter the Dragonfly for Spyro. If you can bring back one person from each of our five worlds, we can help you use the balloon. So that's how we get from area to area now, is the balloon is stuck and we need more people to get it down. And there's a guy right over there. Let's go see what his problem is. I'll see you at the beach! Sweet. Biggest inspiring rumors committed. But are the baby dragon no longer wears a sheep costume? He's just in an egg now. Boo! Unacceptable. Infringing on the original artistic vision. Disgusting. While I was gone, my friends borrowed the Rhinox submarine. And then they took it for a joyride. And, and then they smashed it into a big pile of rocks. Oddly enough, the Rhinox failed to see the humor in the story and stuffed my friends in the jail behind you. We'll have to do something about that then, won't we? I love the music in this level. Oh, hey, I was vibing, sir. We're gonna get these guys out of prison. Ah, oh, well, there's the submarine and the big pile of rocks. Um, I would say that Spyro has good swimming controls because they're basically just vehicle controls. Like, they're basically like flying controls in any other video game. You press X to go and you have your left stick and that's it. A lot of other games, when they have swimming controls, make them really weird, which is often why they suck so much. Whoa if you want a quick summary of your progress in a world, you can press Dark the Siders select button to open controls. the Atlas page for the I world I never played Darksiders, but I've had it recommended to me a, a number of times, so... I'm... One of these days, I should see if I can uh, pick up a used copy of Kex or something. Because I understand that the first two games are pretty good. The reason I do see you that I can play some water. <laughs> ah, well, there's your problem.
eu não Don't forget you, Jason. But uh, speaking of Jerson, that's another game that I really need to get around to one of these days. Is uh, Heavy Rain. Because I remember playing the demo and I watched somebody else play it. And I, I understand it was like halfway good. Like it would have made a good film, but the problem was it wasn't a film. Taxidermist DLC still PS3 exclusive. That's if that's not changed by now, it's probably not gonna. I'm sorry, well, some basic underwater combat with weak. Ah! Can't even swing a scythe underwater. Huh. Okay. And then there is. Uh... Monster Hunter 3's underwater combat, which was so slow it was comical, and about half of your special attacks didn't work underwater for no adequate reason. I'll do multiple story DLCs, but only release one and focus on the PS Move controls instead. Yikes! Yeah, PS3 unfortunately had. Uh, a lot of that crap, because people had uh, seen how well the Wii did and wanted a slice of all of that free money, while critically misunderstanding that the reason why the Wii did so well was not just because it had movement controls, it's because movement controls are very easily to understand if you're trying to get your dad or your uh, young child into video games. But everyone was like, no, Killzone 3 needs to have motion control activated remote bombs, where you have to jostle the uh, controller back and forth. It's the dumbest shit. Oh, hi, Spyro. Some of my. Whoops. Oh, dang it. Alright, so this is another one of my favourite uh, mini games. We're going to take out a fortress with some help. But yeah, um, at the very least, with uh, the PlayStation Move, they do seem to be doing quite well of it now with uh, PSVR. And we're going to blow it to smithereens. We just need you to take out all the turrets for us. We're lighting the bomb now. Just make sure to stop all those turrets before the fuse runs out, okay? Definitely like the police investigation trove. Fahrenheit had it, Heavy Rain had it, Detroit had it, Beyond Two Souls didn't have it. A lot of people consider it to be the weakest of the four. I can't really say in that department because I just don't like David Cage's writing style on a fundamental level. The, the only one that I think was any good was Heavy Rain. Uh... I have played and beaten Fahrenheit, and I thought it was shocking, and uh, Detroit, the, the less said the better, because I don't want to go on that fucking tirade again. At least not unless it's uh, relevant to what I'm doing. Alright. So we've got to smash up all of the defences around here, so that our SEAL boys can... Uh, so that our SEAL team Yeah, Omicron was like a Deus Ex style like open world immersive RPG, wasn't it? Nope. 
You idiots don't light the fuse until you've actually planted the bomb. That really smart. No problem though. We've got more bombs. Go. There we go. Use these Rhinox as projectiles to save yourself time. Scum. I wish I could just judgment cut this fortress, that would save me a lot of time. I do remember watching um called Funhouse now, but uh back then they were called uh Inside Gaming. But uh I watched them play Omicron, and it was so fucking funny. Ah, oh, damn it. It was so funny watching one of the guys just, like, point at everything and go, oh, is that the Nomad Soul? Is that the Nomad Soul? Is that the Nomad Soul? Over and over again, at just, like, every little thing. I think I've beefed this immediately. Yeah, no. I'm just gonna cast myself off the edge and start it again. It's fine, I've got plenty of extra lives. Ready to try stuff. Try it again. I'm mostly operating off of memory, but I think this is like the, the most time efficient way to do it. Assuming that I don't get slapped. Struggling to actually remember what the strategy for this is. Wow, he shot me right out of the air. My new boyfriend because they all crapped out. Oh. There was a period of time where uh, I went through about four. Because uh, the ones that they kept sending me were absolute shit. So I'd like call up BT and be like, hey, my internet's not working. And they go, oh, okay, can you read us off the serial number that's on the back of your, uh, on your router? And I'd read it off and they go, oh, why have you got those routers? Those are 10 years old. You gave it to me last month. Like...
Let's go. 0.3 of a second left on the fuse. All right, light blue touch paper and retire to a safe distance. Uh, oh, there he is. I'm sure he's fine. Wow! I can't believe I survived that blast! It's a good thing I kept this egg nice and safe in my pocket. Do you have pockets on that tunic? But yeah, um, glad to hear that your internet's working again. Crappy internet is one of those things that's just like infuriating. Like, if my power, like, if I lose power or something, that for some reason does not nearly bother me as much as spotty internet. And I could not tell you why. For some reason, just spotty internet. It just, it just hits different and not in a good way. In this back pocket, oh no. Sheila, wash your hands after you've dealt with that thing. It's still so wild to me that, um, dang it, that uh, Insomniac were able to get Stuart Copeland to be the composer for this game. I can only imagine that just like someone on the dev team was like an, a personal friend of him or something. Release him. My plan worked! That dumb octopus dropped the jail key while he was shaking me. Now I can free my friends! All according to Keikaku. Stole some chewing gum off oh, your husband. I forgot to tell you. Ho I'm hopefully before he chewed it. In his lunchbox. Dizzy! Alright, still plenty more exploring to do yet. Oh, what do we have back here? David Bowie music. Well, that's that's different. That's like you uh, with something like that. You just like you pay the licensing fee, which is probably not cheap, but that's what you do. Whereas this is music that was composed. This is original music composed by Stuart Copeland. First things first, I want to just very quickly get back here. Grab all the shinies that are in the prison cell. David Bowie made it. Oh! Composed by David Bowie. Okay. Well, hush my smart mouth. That must have taken some doing. Dark Souls for a trade token affiliation. <laughs> We had a dragon egg for you, but we used it to test our ultra high speed super fluidity tunnel. The good news is that it made it to the end of the tunnel without a scratch. The bad news is that there's no way to get it back out now. The tunnel is chock full of Rhinox and floating mines. The only way to retrieve that egg is to defeat every single Rhinox in the tunnel. Clearly. So. Meow. Dragon in the 90s. There we go. This egg has so... surprisingly good fluid dynamic characteristics. <laughs> From now on, all of our submarines will be egg shaped. Mm. 
So I'm assuming you've been having a lot of fun with the uh, ritualist then, Colonel. Actually, no, of course you have, because you, uh, you got the big, like, AOE, everything in that general direction must die button for it, didn't you? Religion getting all those musicians to voice various characters was pretty impressive. Also, like, getting a bunch of them to, like, voice themselves, which was nuts. But, um, now that you say it, Brutal Legend is, a uh, is another game that I really want to play. Because doesn't that game just, like, straight up have Oz Ozzy Osbourne in it? Everything in this hemisphere. <laughs> it's supposed to be voiced by Ronnie James Dio, but something went wrong. They went with Tim Curry. Oh no, we only got Tim Curry. Oh no. Us to a naval battle. Our speedboat versus his nuclear shark submarine. If we win, <laughs> we have a dragon egg he's guarding. If we lose, we have to spend a month in KP. The hell's KP? What do you say? Do you want to take on Bluto? Alright. So it's pretty simple. Just steer this bad boy around. It's all done with the left stick. God, this thing makes a noise. Pretty simple. He's gonna give chase. You just need to keep giving him the runner out. Look. Yeah, straight line speed, he cannot keep up with you. That's another game I should uh, see if I can get a uh, copy of. There was a racing game I was real fond of as a kid. Work! Oh, damn it. Ozzy's the car upgrades guy. Yeah! I played the demo for that and I remember it faintly. Oh. No! No! Ah! Oh. Wow, it just locks you into that, huh? Come on, I want to at least get this done before the end of the day. Okay. Try and not take any stupid hits. I'm not worry about you either. Get back for you boys later. Why do his missiles have tracking and mine don't? Well, the real answer is because he'd never be able to keep up. That chomping, I remember, gave me absolute palpitations as a kid. You get for bragging. Wow. No showboating. First time Bluto has ever lost. You got a lot of talent for someone so purple. I hope this egg <laughs> was worth all the trouble. Sorry, the way he says that implies that like degree of being purple in some way dictates like skill. Alright, and now we can explore and get all the goodies here. But yeah, there was a, a racing game I was quite fond of as a kid, an uh, arcade racer called Hydro Thunder. It was 
absolutely nuts. Remember, all of the um, all of the boats in that game were ludicrously over the top. And one of them was just like a fucking catamaran with a jet engine, just stapled to the back. And another one was uh, a flying saucer. Because, you know, who needs subtlety? Alright. We've gotten everything here. No, we haven't. Zoom. So, how are we doing? We are missing one. Hop to the secret cave. Can we get anywhere? Something over there? Okay, nothing over here. So where's this secret cave then? Who knows? It's a secret. is not it. Okay. Very suddenly out of ideas then. one. Alright. Looking at the time we got left, I think we've got just enough time to do the uh, speedway. And then we will wrap up.
Okay. We'll not worry about that. Like I say, we'll just do the the speedway and then we'll uh, call it a night. Because starting a bit later than usual unfortunately means that uh, people I am sharing the building with are going to bed and I don't want to be uh, still going when they're trying to sleep. Ding. Hey, who wants to hear Sparks talk for once? I'm sure that's not going to get really annoying. Alright, so time attack is exactly what we remember. That's fine, we don't need it to be the fastest, we just need to do it. So yeah, the, uh, the time attack is basically like it's always been. Just gotta hit all of these one by one. If I remember right, these ones are actually a lot easier than uh, they were in the second game. Taking things out. Interesting. Alright, still got it in one though. And now we just race the butterflies. What we do? Let's set up straight for a hook of. Race the butterflies. Unfortunately, the races are not particularly exciting. It's basically just a matter of hit all the rings and hit all the boosters and you're basically guaranteed to win it. There's not a lot of skill involved. I think the most amount of skill that gets involved is... Uh, some of the races will have, um, what do you call them, uh, like little weapons you can use, and even then it's just a matter of learn when the when is the best time to, to use them, and that's about it. See what I mean? It's just hit these speed boosts, and you're all the guaranteed to win. I'm pretty sure that my passive speed is higher than his. Pretty sure they're just like going. We're actually catching up. Yeah, my passive speed is higher than the lead guys. Oh, you can't flame him. Boo. Alright. Zoom. And the 
victory is literally just around the corner. Easy business. Alright. And that'll be all for today. Exit. <sighs> All right, job done. So let's head on over to the booth and uh, we will see if anybody's around that we can go and raid. So in future, I may end up moving the uh, stream time just for the sake of other people in the building, like I say, because I don't want to be bantering away while they're trying to sleep. So, who's on and about? Um, let's head on over to Barry. Let's spell that name correctly. What's wrong with me today? An L in Strawberry. Strawberry VT. Boom! They're playing some more Valhalla, and I'll see you all over there. Until next time, thank you, good night, and much love.